Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Tyndall. How's everyone doing? Good. Are you excited to learn? Yes. That's good. Well, we're going to continue our lessons about South Carolina and the Civil War. Can someone tell me what they learned so far about the Civil War? Ronald? That the first shot fired in the Civil War was on Fort Sumter. It was on Fort Sumter. On the battle had lasted one day and a half. The Fort Sumter battle? Abraham Lincoln was the president. Thank you. Spencer? The Confederacy shot down Fort Sumter. They did. And we're going to watch a video to review about Fort Sumter. Can we, did you have something to say? Okay. So we're going to start with a review video. So the 
Union blockade. The Union set up a blockade along the Confederate coastline. Now, who was the Union again? Was that the North or the South? The North. The Union was the South? No, the North. The North. The North, because they, they separated, right? They succeeded. So along the coastline, I know it's a small picture, but along this whole coastline, Along this whole coastline, they were blockading the, the Confederate coastline. And a blockade uses ships or soldiers to stop supplies or people from entering or leaving a place. So, for number one, what do we have? Blockade. For number one, let's see. Can someone, Rhonda, can you read number one for me, please? The Union Senate blockade along Confederate coastline. So in the blank goes Confederate coastline. Thank you. All right. So on this blockade, they basically put up a wall along the coastline that didn't allow anyone to come in and help the Confederates. Why do you think they did this? Submarine, it protects you underwater. 
but that is very true. Iron. It's a big piece of iron. So, from the Hudley submarine, Sherman's march took place. Okay? And on February 1st, 1865, General William Sherman and his Union Army entered South Carolina. So when you hear the word march, do you think they're just walking in place, marching, marching, marching? No. What do you think they did? They attacked. They attacked, they marched around some place. That is very true. So they started in Georgia. Okay, and that's right below South Carolina. And they marched through South Carolina all the way to North Carolina. And the Confederates were unable to stop Sherman's march. Why do you think they named it Sherman's March? Because the man name may be Sherman. Because he's all created. Because the man's name was Sherman.